millipedes as big as cars. A remarkable discovery in northern England. The largest ever fossil of a millipede has been found on a beach in northern England, which reached the size of a modern car. The remains of a creature called Arthropleura date back to the Carboniferous period, about 326 million years ago. It is the largest known invertebrate, scientists report. The specimen was found on a beach in Northumberland, about 60 kilometers north of Newcastle. Researchers found fossils of articulated exoskeleton segments very similar in form to those found in modern millipedes. So far, only three similar fossils have been discovered. This new one is the oldest and largest. Each segment measures approximately 75 centimeters. On this basis, experts estimate that Arthropleura could be up to 2.7 meters long and weigh about 50 kilograms. The fossil was discovered in January 2018 in a large block of sandstone that had fallen off a cliff onto the beach at Howick Bay, Northumberland. It was a completely accidental discovery, said Dr. Neil Davies from the Department of Geosciences at Cambridge, lead author of the paper. The boulder fell and cracked, exposing the fossil. One of our former students noticed it by chance, explains the scientist. The research results were published in the Journal of the Geological Society. When the giant creature roamed the world, Northumberland enjoyed a tropical climate and was close to the equator. Invertebrates and early amphibians lived among scattered vegetation surrounded by many streams and rivers. The specimen identified by the researchers was found in a petrified riverbed. It was probably a piece of Arthropleura's exoskeleton that was filled with sand, allowing it to freeze in the rock for such a long time. The fossil was excavated in May 2018 with the permission of Natural England and the landowners, Howick Estate. This was an incredibly exciting find. The fossil is so large that it took four men to carry it to the top of the cliff, recalls Dr. Davies. The rock was brought to Cambridge to be studied in detail. The researchers compared the find with all previous records of Arthropleurie, and learned new things about its habitat and evolution. Previous discoveries suggested that the animal lived in swamps. But the find showed that this invertebrate also liked open forest habitats near the coast. There are only two other known fossils of Arthropleurie, both from Germany and much smaller than the new specimen. The newly discovered fossil is the largest skeleton of this species, yet we still know very little about these creatures. Fossils of these giant millipedes are rare because their bodies tend to dismember after death. So it's likely that the fossil is just a shell that the animal shed as it grew. We've never found the head of any specimen before, Davies said. Previously, Scientists had hypothesized that Arthropleura's enormous size was due to the high amount of oxygen in the atmosphere at the turn of the late Carboniferous and Permian. However, the new fossil is from an earlier time, so oxygen cannot be the only explanation. According to the researchers, to reach such a large size, Arthropleura must have had a nutrient-rich diet. We can't be sure what these animals ate. But there were plenty of nutritious nuts and seeds in the litter back then. We also do not rule out that these animals could have been predators and fed on other invertebrates and even small amphibians, says Dr. Davies. Arthropleury roamed the Earth for about 45 million years before becoming extinct in the Permian period. The cause of their extinction is uncertain. But it may have been caused by global warming that made the climate too dry. It is also possible that giant centipedes did not survive with reptiles competing for the same habitats. The fossil will be on display at the Sedgwick Museum in Cambridge next year. 
3D scanning has revealed the largest cave paintings in the U.S. On the ceiling of one of the caves in Alabama, USA, scientists have found huge cave paintings made by Native Americans more than 1,000 years ago. The paintings are up to 3 meters long and depict human figures engaged in various activities and animals, such as snakes. Scientists say their findings represent the largest examples of rock art in North America. Rock art in the Americas is rare and usually small compared to some Paleolithic paintings from Eurasia. However, new discoveries reveal hitherto unknown examples of paintings from one of the caves in Alabama, USA. The name of the cave where the discovery was made and its location are kept secret by the researchers to protect the ancient works of art. On its vault, archaeologists discovered images of animals and people, often life-size. Oddly enough, the cave's ceiling is quite low and scientists believe that ancient connoisseurs of art were unable to see the larger drawings. Which raises questions as to why the artists chose this particular location where their work was not fully visible and how they kept their works. The research was published in the journal Antiquity. Although the southwestern United States is famous for petroglyphs carved into canyon and cliff walls, a recent study of a cave in Alabama shows that the eastern parts of the southern United States also contain examples of art left by ancient Americans. Forty years ago, no one would have thought there were rock works in the southeast, said Thomas Pluckarn, an archaeologist at the University of South Florida who was not involved in the study. But over the past few decades, archaeologists including Jan Simek of the University of Tennessee in Knoxville have shown that this is not the case. Simek first visited the 19th unnamed cave in Alabama, as it was referred to in scientific papers to protect its exact location, back in the 1990s. In the cool, damp caverns, where no external light enters, Simek and his colleagues' flashlights revealed faint traces of birds, snakes, wasps, and overlapping patterns of lines across the ceiling. The art resembled patterns found on pottery in the southeast U.S. from the woodland period, between 1000 BCE and 1000 CE where the paintings are located. The ceiling of the cave drops to a height of just over half a meter, so the researchers had to lie on their backs to see most of the paintings. There is no way to stand to see the whole vault. For a fuller picture of the art, Simek revisited the cave in 2017 with Stephen Alvarez, a photographer and founder of the non-profit Ancient Art Archive which documents ancient rock art around the world and makes it available online via virtual reality. Alvarez wanted to use a new technique called 3D photogrammetry to create a realistic 3D model of the cave, and see if the technique could reveal additional images previously missed in the confined space. The problem was to see the entire work of the ancient artist. The ceiling of the cave is about 60 centimeters high, which makes it impossible to step back in order to see the whole paintings, especially the larger ones. Therefore, the researchers decided to use photogrammetry. The greatest images were revealed only thanks to this technique, in which the shapes, sizes and relative positions of objects are recreated on the basis of photos taken from different angles and digitally combined into a three-dimensional whole. Within two months, the researchers performed almost 16,000 tests. High-resolution photos. They then stitched the photos together using computer software. This allowed the resulting model to be manipulated using virtual reality software. We were able to light the space any way we wanted and leave the floor to virtually step back and see the entire ceiling, explains Alvarez. It was only thanks to this technique that scientists revealed the greatest paintings. 
Five huge drawings that were too large and inconspicuous to be seen live perfectly showed the cave scanning. Three of the largest paintings depict human-like beings dressed in royal or ceremonial robes. There is also a spinning figure with a tail resembling a rattlesnake and a long snake with scales. The manipulation of the distance between the viewer and the ceiling of the cave chamber reveals countless human and animal figures that could not be seen in situ due to their size and physical proximity to the viewer, the authors wrote in the publication. One of the paintings, the one of a snake, is more than three meters long, making it the largest example of rock art in North America, archaeologists say. Scientists believe it is the diamond rattlesnake, Crotalus adamantius, worshipped by the indigenous people of these areas. Its placement makes it look like a snake is emerging from a crevice in the rocks, which makes it appear even larger. Scientists believe the paintings were most likely made by etching in fresh mud on the cave's damp ceiling. In total, 400 square meters of the cave's ceiling is covered. In some cases with multiple layers plastered on top of each other. In addition to the cited examples of human and animal figures, there are also abstract patterns and shapes on the walls. As well as human figures with animal features. And although it was not possible to date the engravings made on the walls, the researchers managed to date the charcoal left by torches carried by ancient artists. Fragments of charcoal and smoke trails on the walls of the cave showed that the art originated around 1200 to 1700 years ago. Shards of pottery were also found at the bottom of the cave. Their dating indicated a period of 1,000 to 3,000 years ago. Native Americans during the development of pre-Columbian cultures called Woodland who lived in the area, inhabited settlements, built large earthen mounds for worship, and conducted extensive trade in the South, East and Midwest. The descendants remained in the region for centuries, but in the late 19th century, many were pushed west as part of the fledgling U.S. government's policy of removing Native Americans. While the exact meaning of the paintings is unclear, caves like this one were often associated with the underworld, researchers say.